What's up guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how you can input your Facebook pixel into your ClickBank. So if you're promoting ClickBank products and you want to see the results from there, I will show you how you can do that. Now the process is actually incredibly simple. All you do is you need your pixel ID and you input that into ClickBank. So let me show you how to go about that. So first thing, let me just go into my pixels tab here on the top left. And that's the pixel we created in one of our previous videos right there. Okay, so that's what we need, that little pixel ID. So I'm just going to copy that right now. And I'm going to head into my ClickBank. So this is my hypothetical ClickBank account. Um, and let's go into settings. And my site here at the top. And let's scroll all the way down to the bottom. So we've set up our Google AdWords uh, label. We've set up our tracking pixel and order form from Click Magic. So now let's add the Facebook one. So I'm going to add tracking code. And for Facebook, we have the order form and the order form confirmation, of course. So that's kind of after they bought and this is when they're about to buy. So we'll need to do one at a time. So I'm going to click affiliate or vendor if you are a vendor. And all we need to do is we need to input our pixel ID. That's it. It's that simple. And I'll tell you three ways how you can check it after you finish. So I'm going to click save. Then I'm going to do this one more time for the order form confirmation. And again, I'll say affiliate, but you can do vendor. And I will click save. Okay, so now we need to activate it. And activate that one. And that's it. We should be good to go. So now let's actually check it, right? Um, I'll show you three ways how you can check it. Uh, check, check to make sure that it's working. So first of all, well, let me let me actually open that page now. So we put it on two pages. The only way you can test the order form confirmation page is if you actually buy or if someone else buys. So I'm not going to go that deep, but I will show you um, the order form, okay, uh, confirmation. So let me just go through this entire link. And you may not see the results on your Facebook ad immediately. Oops. Okay, so I had to change that link up uh, a bit. So let me just do that one more time. Okay. So I'm going to enter that order form page from here. <clears throat> yeah, so I had to change my other uh, account because it wouldn't let me uh, enter that page. So I had to kind of pick a different ClickBank offer to show you, but it should still work the same. So here is now um, our order form, okay? So let's go th through the three ways how you can check it. First of all, it should show up in your ads uh, manager pixel tab, it should show that the pixel was fired recently. So the pixel for that should be initiate checkout and the pixel for the for the order form confirmation should be purchase. So let's just look into, so here's initiate checkout. Let's look into here and see. So today is the 15th and it is 1223. And as you can see there, it did fire. Okay. So it says last raw pixel fires. And as you can see here, that's, that's right now it did fire. So it did work. It did properly shoot up. Okay. Now you don't see that little spike up there. I don't know why, but it, it is there. So it did shoot. Okay. So make sure to check the time. Don't just look at the, at the, at the little spikes there. Okay. So that's one way how you can check it is just through your Facebook manager uh, yourself. Okay. So the other way we can do it is you can install a little Google Chrome extension called Facebook Pixel Helper, I think. Kind of same thing like we did with our uh, Google AdWords. And you should see it green here. So it, it should say one uh, on your order form page. And it should have this little pixel ID here. So that should be your pixel ID. Okay. And it should say initiate checkout because that's that's what we're doing here. It's the, This is the initiate checkout stage. So let's go back here and let's compare our pixel. Yeah, 16092, 16092, it works properly, okay? So we've checked that. Now, the the third way you could check it is if you actually just go in, if, if, if you right-click the page and click on View Page Source. So what I'll do is I'm actually going to look for Facebook. And here, as you can see, they've input our Facebook pixel in there themselves, and they put the event right there. It says EV equals initiate checkout. Okay, so they've done that for you automatically. So that 
should say that it's working as well. So if for some reason, maybe you're using one way, like you're using the Facebook Pixel Helper and it's not showing, you could cross reference and look at the other two ways. However, if one of the methods isn't working for you, chances are the other two won't either. So just double check, make sure you input the pixel numbers correctly. But that's about it. That's how you would go about checking it and making sure it works. So now if I go into my ads manager for this account and I customize my tabs. So I've what I've done is I've created a default tab, but you would go into uh, settings and you would go into website and you you need to look for the website Facebook pixel look for checkouts initiated and look for purchases right and just add those in or you could also add the cost per those or and the value how much it's worth to you click on apply and it should show up here so when people actually click on your active Facebook ad and they follow through with the process and end up at the pages it should show up here so it may not show up if you're just doing it randomly not through the Facebook app um, ad or if you are doing through the Facebook ad but it's not delivering yet so it has to actually be active for it to show there okay so that's about it I, I hope that helped and uh, gave you an idea of how to set this up if you guys have any questions comments or concerns leave them down below if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe those of you that have subscribed thank you I do appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next video